Welcome back to Join News Prime. Now, the controversial $72 million ICT infrastructure procured by the Social Security and National Insurance Trust, SNIT, is functioning despite an earlier claim to the contrary. The Director General of Dr. John Kojo Ofori Tinkrang told Join News in August the facility is off fit for purpose despite the huge amount spent on it by the previous management. Let's listen to him back then in August. Let's see how we can renegotiate this. And I've engaged the vendors. We've engaged them. We've sat down. Are they willing to engage Yes, you? they are. No, they're open to listening and, and hearing us say that you were supposed to deliver this. Evidence which I can show you now shows that it is not working. How do we fix it? And how do we fix it at minimal or no cost to us? Well, investigations by journeys have have revealed key modules of the operating business suite, OBS, are working in that of the total 14 modules, only one. The compliance module is yet to function at full capacity. The Joy News team made up of Evans, Mensa, Kwetenate, and Joy FM Super Morning Show host Kojo Yangsing spent a few weeks painstakingly probing the claim made by the current SNIT management. Evans Mensa joins me in the studio with more on this. Uh, hello, Evans. Now, I believe it is important that we put it on record that the SNIT management mm -hmm. have since backtracked on their earlier claim that the system uh, you know, is yeah. not working, that they have corroborated your findings. That's correct. Yeah, so in the morning, um, the SNIT Director of Corporate Affairs we spoke to her, in fact, she called and said she wanted to speak, and said she comes on and says, well, their position is all, all along has been that the system works, uh, with, the exception of the, um, uh, the, with the exception of the compliance module, which is something that we, we already had yeah. said. But um, that wasn't made clear when, it, I mean, if you're listening to the voice clip that yeah. we played. Dr. Tinkran was very emphatic that he has evidence to show that the, the system isn't working. Um, but there's something just that has also happened tonight, by the way. Dr. Tinkran comes on and, and totally on, on, on Top Story on Newsnight, comes on, uh, on Newsnight and sort of discredits his own director of corporate affairs, says that he stands by um, his earlier claim that the system isn't working, which is a clear contradiction to the director general's, uh, the, direct, the director of pu public the affairs, public rate, yeah. you know, uh, position in the morning. And you think that for the public, the director of public affairs to speak, you, she would have been authorized <laughs> by right. Dr. Tinkran himself. Well, Dr. Tinkran says he stands by the position because he has uh, now evidence, some report that dated in August that he has that shows that there, were, there are aspects of the various modules of the, of the OBS that isn't working to full capacity. The thing to note that that, <laughs> that report that was in August was available as of this morning when the Director of Corporate Affairs was, was responding. Speaking, yeah. So how come she didn't refer to that? Only after in the evening before Mr. Tinkran then, Dr. Tinkran then comes and says, I have that evidence to show that part of it isn't working. Um, and, but you know, what, what, but what did we find? I mean, what, what did you guys find? That's why, that is a central question. I want to take two examples, two key, because there are several modules of this, right? What we found, one, is that all the modules, with the exception of the, of the um, uh, compliance module, in fact, is working. And don't take my word for it. Listen to Dr. Dr. Tinkran himself speaking in July when he launched one of the modules, which is the web portal. He said, SNIT has now fully automated most of its business processes that's putting us in a position to process transactions and provide information to our customers in a speedy manner. Benefits processing, which was a critical issue for the trust because of delays, has been fully automated. Emphasis on fully automated. Turnaround time that used to be months, in some cases years, has been reduced to an average of a week. Now, he says tonight, when we spoke to him, again, in making a point that he stands by his position, that the document he has shows that this particular module, the benefits module, that allows him to pay, um, allows him to pay benefits on time, which he said in August that in that kind of process and pay in a week, has 50 plus defects. This is his latest. Okay. Um, so I'm wondering, I asked him, is this the same module that you said in August that allows you to pay process and pay benefits in one week? He said yes. 
and ask you, I'm, I'm confused. It, can you still process today as of today? Maybe because it was speaking in July. Maybe today things were actually. Things have changed. Can you today still process um, payments within this time frame? He says, yeah, we can do something in a day. Like, so what's the point about the system not, not working. working again as you stated? Then he goes into this explanation about you, you can find instances where in one case some documents can be found. I honestly do not appreciate what he's saying. Is he suggesting he that is, it is not working to perfection, even though it yeah, is working? But, 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 but it's, a, it's a computer system. No machine works <laughs> to 100% efficiency. Basic science teaches us that. I mean, so I, I, I was struggling to appreciate the point he's making. Because if you agree that bottom line as uh, um, Israel, as somebody who pays pensions, what you want is for your pensions to be processed for you on time. And if you confirm that it can be paid because of the OBS system, it can be paid in a day. Where, where is the difficulty? So he explains that, but a lot of technical things he put out. In essence, what he wants to to say is that you can find instances, some instances, where there, there will be delays still. Okay? But in a majority of cases, in his own words, it works. It works. Okay. That's one. There's another one that we found. This is independent verification, and that's part of the research we did. But apparently, if you recall, early this year, the finance ministry's statement, a very you know, popularized statement, that they had managed to clean the payroll of 26,000 yeah. ghost names. They also cleaned the pensions registry of 20-plus ghost names. Together, 50,000 ghost names had gone, saving the country $250 million a year. They, we found that they used the OBS system with to it, do that. Which, to do this. So I asked him, is it? He mentions that that particular module too isn't working. And I'm like, is it the same module that was used by the farmer to clean the ghost names and the pensions registry and save 200 million? He says yes. So what's the point there? And then he goes on again with the same explanation that um, there were aspects in, okay, well, his answer to that was yes and no. Yes, because you know it worked. No, because there are some instances when they were trying to clean the ghost names that they couldn't find some data, etc. And so, but fundamentally, and I'm pointing to him, the statement that was issued by the finance minister was clear that this system had worked to perfection. In fact, saving the country, the finance minister was so happy that we are saving 250. So, where is the defect? Well, but that's where we are tonight in terms of the. So, we think SNIT itself. There appears to be some, some disagreement as to whether the system is working, working or not. The Director of Public Affairs says it's working. The DG comes in the evening and says it's not working. They're contradicting themselves. And it's, it's pretty bizarre at this point to try and reconcile where we are, where it comes to some. But as far as we are concerned as journalists, from the work we've done, remember, we just spent days going from state office to state office, testing the equipment to see. And he comes back with a report that says, Everything he tried worked. So the one, one of the points that he tried, what, what surprises him, he went there. Have you ever tried to print your snitch statement before? No. Okay. Because we all thought it's impossible, right? You have to, it's, it's something that you have to probably spend days trying to get. He got it in one minute. His snitch statement. In one minute. Because of this OBS system. And again, another thing he tried, the portal, the web portal, which is a key plank of the OBS system, which the thing ran Launch one said, of the modules. Could they call them? I mean, tried it. And the, con the context. The, con the, 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 so the, call the call center was one of them. Called and just to try, if, you know. And he basically asked a series of questions. One of the questions he asked was he wanted to link that to the portal. I want to access my portal, but I can't. I mean, because we have to fake it and see whether they can. They said, Oh, we have you tried it? Do you have a, a web portal ID? He says, No. He said, Okay, we are going to create one for you. Give us your email address. This was at 8 a.m., I remember, because we were doing the show at that time. He says at 3 o'clock, he checked his mail. The, the web portal, the, his the account user ID. had been created and sent to him. Not only that, they called him to ask him, we sent it to you. Have you tried? Is it working? He says, yes, he tried. That's, that sounds fairly really efficient. That is that we are talking about. Um, and so I still don't appreciate where and how based on all that evidence, and Mr. Tinker himself confirmed that a lot of it is working, confirmed that they clean, it with, they clean the ghost names with it, they can, pay process, they can pay claims in a day, and yet still in one another breath say it isn't working. 
So yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's All where right. we are with this controversy. Okay, but I mean, I mean we, sh we shall continue to follow the story yeah. to see how it eventually pans out. But thank you very much uh, for the work that you've put together. Mm -hmm.